What's up YouTube? This is your boy DJ Magic One coming with you with another video. It's been a while since I've done one, but I figured it was time already. Uh, I've been working on a lot of stuff. Uh, this is my latest project. I came uh, across these trusts. As you can see, they're the Global Trust trusses. This is the uh, the mini triangle. This one's a uh, six, six and a half, I think it's six and a half uh, feet long. I got two of them. So when combined, they make a 13 foot truss. So it's perfect for what I want to use them. You know, you can only use one foot section or you can use, you know, the combine them both to make a 13 foot truss. And of course, I modify them to work with my cranks as you can see I put the junior clamps on there little modification measurements so as you can see I got my lines here where I measured same thing with the other side that way it's more secure the uh, other ones that were on there, they moved too much, and I was afraid that they might, uh, it might slip off. Let me turn off this fog machine. I was doing a test run earlier. But, uh, let me show you. These were the ones that were on there. You know, they slide in here on the sides or whatever. You know, and they would fit on there. And this kind of sit truss, the truss sits on there like that. So as you can see, you know, you can still move it. And uh, I wasn't too sure about this. So I went ahead and made the modifications for the mini triangle. As you can see, I have my DJ scans hooked up. DJ scans 250ZX by American DJ. I got four of them running them DMX. And this is more of a, uh, I guess, projects that I'm working on. And I'm also going to do this a uh, teach you guys, make it a little tutorial on how to uh, use your DMX controller. Or, oh sorry, your software. I'm using the uh, My DMX by American DJ. I love it. It's easy, simple, inexpensive. You know, 300 bucks. I'm, I'm looking for the dongle thing. There you go. It's upside down. But you guys get the picture. There it is. American DJ my DMX and just gonna give you a quick tutorial on it I mean it's pretty pretty easy software I like it that's one of the reasons I bought it you know because I don't like I like making the the shows and everything but this one I think it's a little bit easier get a little focus on there but uh, let me go ahead and turn off the lights Oh, sorry about that. Almost forgot. I also have the uh, color strips or the mini color strips hooked up. And the newest thing I bought. I don't know if you guys seen these already, but these are the uh, Mega Par profiles. I got two of them. I got I got more on order. Bought these at the. Uh, at the uh, Fort Worth costume, magic, etc. So, you guys like these? I'll show them here in a minute. Like them? Go see uh, go see Derek, Abel, and Will. Hey, I got two of them because that's all they had left. But there they are. I took off the yoke because uh, I'm not gonna be using them. And uh, you'll see those in action here in a little bit. But um, let's 
we'll get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights and turn up the music a little bit and uh, hopefully you guys can hear me and I'll guide you through. Actually, you know what? Let's go to uh, let's go to this. All right, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I'm gonna try and get it as focused as I can. This is your main page right here. Uh, that's getting a bad focus. Oh, there we go. Okay. You know when you first open up your uh, software you know it takes you to the setup menu and then you can choose from all the lights that you have so in my case you know I go all the way to uh, Merc and DJ and then look for the lights I want to program so in my case it'd be the uh, DJ scans 250s EX's so there it is you you click it you and you drag it over here and it'll come up here and as you can see you have your DMX universe channels 1 through I believe it's 512 and uh, this is the way I set it up so uh, I mean if you guys have other methods you know uh, post it down on the descriptions or if you guys have any questions you know uh, email me but I'm gonna try and do it you know they'll show you guys the way I do it but anyways, you guys see it there, it says DJ Scan 250X. And then all, all what you want to do is you can either go back over here and highlight it and drag another one. You know, as many times as you want or as many slides as you have. If not, the easiest way to do it is just right click it, go to duplicate, and uh, let's see. Duplicate, and then you get this screen. And then, since you already have one, one there, all you want to do is duplicate three more. So when you click on three, uh, it'll show three here, and then you hit click OK, and then you get this. You get three more on there. And then the next one I have on there is the Color Strip Mini, and then the next one is the Megapar Profile. <laughs> Now the way you program these and set the addresses, you can't really see it, but as you can see at the bottom, you know how this one has 34, 30, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Well, each of these each of these lights, it's a it's a five channel light. So as you can see there on the bar, you see its address. It's going to control channels one through five. The next one, so your ending channel is five. So what you want to do on the next one, you want to start on 6, and then this one's 6 through 10. The next one is 11 through 15, and then the next one is 16 through 20, and then this one is a, it, I'm running it, it's a, I think it's a 4 channel, yeah, it's a 4 channel. So you go from 21 to 24, and then the mega part profile, I'm running it on 7 channel mode. So it's 7 channel, which is 25 through 31. So now you take all that and apply it to your lights. And as you can see here, that's number 1. That's number 6. That's number 11. Number 16. And then you go back here to the uh, mini strips. That's 21, and since I'm work, I'm gonna just work with uh, the mini strips. I keep them the same. That way, when that way, uh, whatever I program on the first one, the second one will do. So it's just like having one light. So it's on the same channel, 21, and then the mega par profile is on DMX address 25. So now everything's on there, everything's, you know, everything's uh, how it's supposed to be, you know, each one has its own address. Then you go to the editor, and then it gives you all the channels, what every channel does from each slide. So like in my case, channel, the first slide 
is channels one through five. So channel one is your X axis. Channel two is your Y axis. Channel three is your color, like your color bank. As you can see, look, all the colors, orange, red. These are your macros. And then this is pretty much you know, the rainbow, uh, if you want to call it that. And then you have your gobo channel. And, you know, and uh, the way I'm getting this screen is by right clicking on the channel. So if you right click on the color, this whole thing pops up. Right click on the gobo, all the gobos that are in that light pop up. And then you got your shutter, which is close, open, strobe, gobo, shake, and open, which is which is the spot. So you have this is light number one, light number two, light number three, light number four, light number five, and six. We're only using six lights. And they're all color coded, see? That way you won't get confused. See how it's running on top? I uh, see each one has, you know, it's numbered all the way through. Uh, so in our case, or in my case, we're using we're we're using a total of 32 DMX channels or 31 DMX channels. So we still have a lot of room to put more lights on there if we wanted to. And then you have that, and then over here you have your scenes. Right now I have it on blackout, which is you know all lights turned off. And I've only made one, you know, just to show you, but I'm going to show you how to create one here in a minute. The, I'm going to show you how to create one the easy way, and then how to, how to like, make your own manually, I guess you can say, which is this, this square box over here, but we'll get to that later on. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights, and uh, I'm going to show you, you know, what this, the, the two that I have already made, and then we're going to make one together. So um, now I'm going to show you the these uh, what the channels do when when they're doing it. Like there's like an auto mode on here, and I'll show it to you right now, which is this one, the effect. When you click on that, and you get another pop-up window, but I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights and put a little bit of music on, and uh, you guys. You guys see uh, see how easy it is to to manage this my DMX software. So let me uh, let me get some music going and I'll go ahead and turn off the lights. Right now it's in blackout mode. That's why you guys don't see any 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 lights. But let's see blackout mode. Let me go ahead. just give you a preview. Change it to strobes. See and there there it goes. It's not in play mode right now, but I'll I'll show you I'll show you right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click blackout, and it's on blackout, see? So, um, let me go ahead and show you guys right quick. And let me turn off the lights. Got a little bit of fog. It was outside, so normally I use my hazer, but quick video. Alright, lights are off. There's a the laptop. Right now we have it on blackout. And we're going to go ahead and click on... Uh, I named this one strobe and intro. So here we go. Oh, actually, you know what? No. After here, you go to user mode. I'm sorry. User mode. So there's my blackout scene. And then the first, my other scene, the uh, the one with the strobes, I named it strobe intro. So here we go. That's the blackout. Of course, you don't see anything. And we're going to go ahead and click on the strobe one, which is the next one. And there you go. I've made it to where it's strobes in white and I only have the four the four uh, DJ spots 250s on and the and the mega part profile 
Let me get you a close up on it. So that's the Mega Part profile. And then the four DMX 250s. And it's doing the pattern that I, I designed it to do. So let me show you the back side of it, or I guess you can say the front side if you're on a dance floor. This is what you would see. it you guys i'll see you on the next clip i'll show next clip's gonna show you how to uh i'm gonna show you how to how to make actually the scene so see you on the next clip <laughs>